Whilst I was on holiday in Indonesia, me and my family had planned a visit to an elephant sanctuary, or at least that's what it made itself out to be. I love animals and was excited at the thought of being able to get up close to them. When we looked at the website before visiting, it said we would see the elephants in their natural habitat and that they were now living a life of freedom having been rescued. The park had many positive reviews and celebrity visitors, so we felt by visiting, we'd be helping the elephants. However, when we arrived at the park, things were not as they seemed. We noticed that the elephants were tied to chains and that the mahouts used hooks to control the elephants. We were able to ride, watch them paint and perform other tricks. This was not really their natural behaviour and we went away feeling a little uneasy of what we had seen. So I decided to look into it some more. The terrible truth behind what we had seen was that these elephants were not doing these things out of choice. The truth is, in the world there are roughly 16,000 elephants kept in captivity letting people interact with them and watch them perform tricks. This is a quarter of the total number of elephants on the planet. I found that sadly there was a process to get the elephants to do these things. They are forced to obey their mahout or master by being chained and beaten until they do. Often baby elephants are removed from their mothers to be trained in this way. Whilst I was researching about the elephants, I also came upon animal tourism as a whole. Animal tourism takes up 20 to 40% of the tourism industry. Basically, it's a massive industry worth billions of pounds worldwide. People are paying money to fewer interact with animals because, like me, they love them, but sadly have no idea what horrendous things are going on behind the scenes. Did you know 75% of wildlife tourist attractions have a negative impact on the animals, affecting around 500,000 animals worldwide? There are 5,000 captive tigers in the US alone, compared to just 3,200 in the wild. Often these are chained and beaten to perform. There are 1,600 bottlenose dolphins being used for entertainment worldwide. There are up to 8,000 lion cubs bred and taken from their mothers to supply growing tourism demands in South Africa, where cubs are handled and photographed. The list could go on and on and on, and would include a whole range of animals from across the globe, but all have the same thing in common. The animals are forced to perform for our pleasure. This is not what they would do in the wild, right? Having heard these facts, you may wonder why these attractions are still so popular and growing. I think one aspect of the major cause it is causes is social media. Nearly half of the world's population have access to social media, and we all like to share pictures of our experiences, 3.5 billion images being shared every day worldwide. And to be honest, it has become a bit of a competition to do bigger and better things than our friends. Since 2014, the number of animal selfies people have posted has grown by 300%. The trouble is, the smiley happy photos we all see do not show the suffering that may be going on. I'm sure the animals did not ask to have their photos taken. Another aspect is the use of online review sites such as TripAdvisor. Let's go back to my original story. We visited the park based on the positive reviews that we had read. Of the 2018 reviews, two thirds of those were rated very good or excellent. And this, of course, is what encouraged us to go. Worldwide, there were 50,000 tourist reviews for animal attractions. Online, 80% of those are positive, even in places where animals are thought to be treated unfairly. I was so shocked to find this out, but it was obvious that this majority had no idea of the truth behind all this. I'm sure they wouldn't go if they did know. So, does this mean we can never visit or see animals whilst traveling? No, so what can we do? Firstly, start by supporting ethical animal experiences. In February, me and my family went to Chiang Mai, Thailand. We had decided to visit Elephant Nature Reserve, a charity set up to help rescued elephants. After my previous experience, I was nervous at what I might find, but I needn't have worried. Here the elephants are looked after in their own environment. They have space to roam and we were able to watch them, but there was no riding or tricks. The park also works with local mahouts to teach them kinder ways to handle and care for their elephants. Secondly, let's use social media to make a change. 
only share pictures of animals in their natural habitat or ethical animal experiences. Tell your friends about the truth behind animal tourism. Finally, remember, if an animal was doing something it wouldn't normally do in the world, it has probably been trained in some way. By doing these things, we can help make a change. So, the next time you are on a break, remember to give animals a break too.